Okay, the feature I'm going to show you right now, I am honestly not quite sure if there's a name for it. What it is is essentially just a shed dormer smashed in between two gable dormers. You can see it on this house. We have our regular rectangle shape here, but then we have this dormer here and this dormer here, and in between them is a sort of triangle shape. And like I said before, it really is just a shed dormer smashed in between those two gable dormers, and they're overlapping each other. So let's get started on drawing this. You're going to start out by doing the basic rectangle shape first. I'll go ahead and build out that shape and then match it to LiDAR real quick. So just draw it out as normal. Okay, now that I have that all drawn out and matched to LiDAR, we're going to draw this top dormer first. So select the gable dormer, match up the top, match up the corners. Now you can tell that you can't really see that bottom corner because it's underneath the triangle and the other dormer. So really just focus on matching up this top corner as well as the diagonal on the top and the other side will end up being symmetrical to it. Then hit convert to roof. Now we'll do the bottom dormer. Just match up the top. Match up the corners. Then bring the diagonal folds down. So you can see this is the area that's missing that triangle. If we look at LiDAR in 3D view, you can see that it's saying that there's something filling that empty space. So I'll just show you the easiest way to do this. You're going to double click the main roof structure. You're going to add a shed dormer. You're gonna come right in the middle of that triangle shape, about right there. Just take these handles and pull it out all the way to the tip of the triangle. From there, you're just going to increase the pitch of your dormer. You're going to do this until you can see where that highlighted blue area matches up with the folds of the triangle. So you can see it's matching to LiDAR and the image pretty well. Now sometimes these won't be this big. Sometimes you'll find them in between or next to smaller dormers, so the triangle itself is pretty small. Just make sure to look out for these. A good hint on whether you need to draw something like that or not. You follow the diagonal fold of a dormer. You can see as we follow it down, it changes direction, kind of flares out. That's a very good indication that there's a shed dormer smashed up right into this gable dormer. Anyway, don't forget to convert the shed dormer to a roof. And that is about it for these shed dormer triangle shapes.